morning to you, Mr. Portlocket. How are you today? Good morning, sir. I'm quite fine, sir. Excellent. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Now, are you up for a little surprise attack on the Jerrys? No. Oh, after last time, I'm more than happy to do that, sir. Excellent, excellent. Nothing like the fear of God to, uh, yes, uh, put some... Uh, initiative. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Precisely, precisely. Couldn't have said it better myself, except I possibly could have. Um, yes, so, today we have a little special surprise in store for the Hun. As you might have noticed, our planes are laden with presents for the Kaiser. Eggs of, um, what's the word, Mr. Potlucket? Eggs of, um, hmm. Deviled eggs, sir? Oh, I like how you think, Mr. Potlucket. Yes, it seems as my magnificent uh, personality has finally started to rub off on you. Deviled eggs for the Kaiser. Uh, to be more precise, we have four 20-pound bombs in store in an entire flight of tripes to protect us. Today, Mr. Potlocket, we are going up and over the top uh, of the uh, no man's land and uh, dropping some deviled eggs on uh, Bois de Velou, which is a, a train station over there. Velou is, uh, is the city and uh, Bois is, I presume, the forest. Somewhere in that vicinity, over to the right here on the map, let me point it out to you here, uh, we have a train station. I don't precisely know why we're bombing the train station, and I don't particularly care. It is in Jerry hands, and thus it has been contaminated beyond our repair, but repair it the Germans must. Because today, Mr. Potlocket, we shall destroy it. Excellent. Any questions? How do I use bombs, sir? Ah, yes, uh, well, in, when, in my day, we normally just uh, pulled a pin and lobbed them over the side. But uh, I'm sure that the uh, eggheads over at Central HQ have thought up something rather a bit more clever this time. I haven't really flown out of bombers myself, that's for uh, idiots. People who can't handle the uh, intense action of dogfights. No. Oh. Well then, then I guess we'll improvise, I guess, sir. Yes, this is probably some manner of is that a cord or something to pull, or a, a button to press. Uh, wasn't there an episode a long time ago where I said something about B for bombs? No, for boom, sir. B for boom. Yes. So you press B for boom, or whatever other button you have bound to it. There might be a bit of string in your cockpit or something along those lines. We have a long flight to figure that out, Mr. Botlocket. And uh, <clears throat> just as last time, we have uh, uh, what's his name, the fellow with the with the, the, the smokes and the funny coat, Gerald, sir. Ah, uh, yes, Gerald. Uh, capital fellow, capital fellow. Uh, he will lead the flight today. Yes, let's uh, let's get that over with, shall we? See you on the landing field, sir. Indeed. To the place. And here we are. Beautiful day, beautiful day. It looks as though I'm on the far right of the field this time, like some kind of peasant or a goat farmer. Well, it's... You have more landing field there, sir. Set the radiators uh, this way. Mixture all the way towards you. And um, I suppose we await the signal. Radiators were the other direction, right? Uh, radiators uh, forward, mixture towards you, yes. No. Contact. I turned right over, Mr. Potlocket. This SE5A is really a capital feat of engineering. In sir. There he goes, old Gerald. And Anthony is going after him. Alright then, chop chop. Oh, careful. Uh, that looks like a might... Oh my god!
Hold on. I'm coming for you. Uh, I take it you found the button which uh, released the bombs. I, I did, sir. All right. I think... I think I found it too, Mr. Potlogan. As you said, sir, she has a powerful rudder. Yes, one has to be gentle with it. Guest bombs are upsetting her a bit as well, sir. Yes, it feels a little heavy today. But take heart, Mr. Potlocket. Remember that the heaviness of the control will give way to a lightness of the heart once those bombs drop on silly old Wilhelm. Indeed, sir. Sir, you've ever never dropped bombs before, have you, Mr. Potlogget? No, sir. Only dogfighting rockets. Yes. That's a bit of an oversight with the SC-5, eh? The eggheads might know what they're doing in terms of stability and controls and rugged good looks and, good golly, a whole lot of bracing wire. But <clears throat> no dogfighting rockets. Serious oversight in any modern fighter plane, wouldn't you say? I suppose, as a matter of courtesy to us in the Flying Corps, they added a bomb rack beneath it. So that uh, we too could get a taste of what it's like to uh, blow something up. Yeah, without having to sit in the rear seat of a bomber or some other absolutely lethal and ugly contraption. No, yeah, tell you what, Mr. Potlockett, bombers are meant to be shot down. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Not that the Huns have ever sent any bombers towards us, sir. No. They must. They must know it's simply useless to try. And they send them to London instead. I had an, uh, an aunt in London who was killed uh, by a Gothel raid just the other night. About time the Germans did something, right? Indeed, sir. Um, they are opening up with a lot of flak now, sir. Are they? Are they really? Oh, a bit here and there, quite everywhere, sir. I've rather lost sight of old Gerald. Uh, he's steaming ahead. I think. Could be him lazily flying above me. No, that was probably you. Oh, what on earth? I have three planes very, very high above me, which I presume to be you. But I also had another plane beneath me, which is why I dove towards it. Very curious, this. Um, very curious. No, I have SC-5s beneath me. Then what on earth yeah, is... Oh, is. heavens, Mr. Pottlocket! If you direct what? your gaze towards the rear, and above, we have two, uh, three albatrosses spoiling for uh, a fight. I do see them, sir. I do see them. And it appears as though Gerald has started turning. Of course, for once. idiot he is. Uh, he doesn't realize that they have such a significant energy advantage. Uh, very well, I shall have to do my best to uh, <coughs> protect him. They are coming down, sir. And they are indeed, Mr. Potlockets. It will be a tricky thing to turn with them with these bombs on, but we shall do our best. I'm not giving up my, my, my bombs that easily. I would like some help, sir. Uh, yes. You, you running? Yes, towards the river. 
I have Understood. one on my tail. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me correct you there. You have two on your tail. All right, sir. And uh, but soon you shall have none. I wonder what Gerald's doing. Uh, what's your position now, Mr. Potluckett? Uh, in front of you, I think. Are you doing loop-de-loops and uh, attacking Yeah, I just them? rolled over there. Yes, and I'm path. in front of those two players. Still. Alright, I'm abandoning this bastard, coming after the one that's closest to you. Good, good evasive maneuvers there. He's still on you, but he's having a hard time keeping up. Not to mention he has Reginald Wolverhampton of Waxenhold upon the sea. Right upon his uh, sea, so to speak. Right in the melon, sir. Oh, you injured? Yeah, I am. Bastards. Just a stray bullet, sir. I'm doing my best, Mr. Potluckett. He refuses to break off. He's on you like they do. Um, quite tenacious. They're doing a good job, Mr. Potlogan. They are surprisingly tenacious. I've never seen the Jerry's. Ooh. Ow. Now he's in a, in a, in a bit of a flat spin here. No, he's all there. What? We must be up against Richthofen himself. Well, it did, does hurt, I can tell you. Come now, Gerald. I still have two on you. Uh, I am quite jammed. Head for the deck. I am trying to, sir. One down. Ooh, almost bit the dust there. The other one is breaking. You are free. You are free. Uh, the other one is running. For home. Doing my best to get home, sir. It is. Hello, Jerry. Oh my god, he's waving at me. What on earth? He waved at me. What an audacity. Bastard. Oh, that was a bit tricky. We might, he might think I'm a damned fool. Trust in the chivalry of the air and all that. But let me tell you, not after what you did to my dear friend, the aide the camp, Mr. Potlockett. You hun bastard, you. Oh, heavens, here come two more. Um, am I quite alone in this? this you uh, could possibly be, sir. I see. Um, no, uh, Gerald is right here. He's not good, doing good by anything. Probably either Anthony or the other German chap. Well, it's uh, someone at least. I appreciate the help for once. Maybe that's the chap he was waving to. I refuse to drop these bombs, Gerald. I mean, <coughs> Jerry. See who it is. It is Anthony. It is Anthony. Anthony's a good chap. Ah, brought her down, sir. Can't rightly turn very well with this eggs trapped on my kite. Not to mention this uh, German machine is. Quite a nimble turner. But I don't think that is. Oh, something fell off. 
Not quite sure. Oh, his engine went out. That was a good hit. <laughs> that will show him, sir. High command asks. He looked just like a train station. Now, Mr. Botlocket, uh, where did you go down? What about? Oh, just over our line, sir. Just I think. over our line. Excellent. Do you want me to come pick you up? That would be swell, sir. Pick I bleeding quite a bit. Uh, rather, is your plane still intact? Well, more or less. Uh, can I find it, do you think? Uh, we should see. Yes, yes, you could. Right, do you mind firing up a flare? Uh, I think it should be to your lower right. My lower uh, right. You have a... Ah, oh, yes, I see something over there. Light of five planes behind you, sir. Well, uh, rather important that we uh, clear this little thing up, then, isn't it? Get you home, very safely. Yes. All right, I have uh, located you. Just uh, taking, getting the lay of the land. We'll see. Are oh, you coming straight for me, sir? Not quite, Mr. Potlogger. Oh, a bit, of, uh, a bit of rough terrain here. Not to worry, I shall come right back. I wasn't expecting that hill there. Quite all right, Mr. Potlogger. Oh, yes. Um, getting a bit too much blood to the head now, but um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Roger that. Excellent. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on board. You are. Trap yourself in uh, snug and tight. And, uh, right. Ready all ready, sir. Keep a firm hold of my, uh, yes. All right. Now, Mr. Potlocket. Mr. Potlocket, do you hear me, boy? I, I hear, sir. Yeah, well. Now, you were in luck. I dare say that there happened to be another set of SE-5s ready. But I must caution you, I must admonish you, to be a tad more careful with the airframes we are issued. Can't just spend them willy-nilly, like with some kind of Germans. Of course, sir. Sorry, we can't, sir. Yeah, we can't trade them one-to-one -one with the German planes. Those are planes of inferior build quality in engineering. These SE-5s expect uh, it takes a bit to 40 Lincolnshire lads poring over every detail for the better part of four months to make even a single airframe. Such is the power, you see, of our industrial capacity. We gotta use them however we like. Now, it's perfectly right to take a few bullets here and there, but uh, if you can put her down uh, more or less intact, then at the very least we can pay some farmer to tow it back to the field and have it repaired. Of course, sir. Mm -hmm. 
I'll be a bit more cautious with her, sir. Not to mention the fact that you had a rather significant amount of explosives strapped to you. What if those had gone off, eh? Yeah, I dropped those, sir. Right. Right. Now, yeah, so we got one uh, very trade station looking Jerry. Contact, sir. Above us. Left side. Mm -hmm. That's a very bird-like silhouette. Looks like more of uh, the Kaiser's finest. What is Gerald doing? Seem to be focused on the mission, sir. They seem to follow us, sir. As I'd expect they would. This is what we'll do for now. We shall follow the mission, but try to climb as much as possible. Even what without a significant energy advantage. They are uh, far too far above us to uh, present any immediate threat. We'll have to drop rather significantly. Now, hey, sir. Weren't hmm? we supposed to have a escort flight of the uh, triplanes. Uh, yes, yes we are. Um, don't know what to tell you, Mr. Potlock, it might have been delayed. Those are indeed Germans. They are getting rather close. Now we have two options here, Mr. Potlocket. Might have been uh, the fact that I fired off about 14,000 flares uh, that alerted them to our presence. <clears throat> but there's no way to prove that. Um, yes, we might uh, continue on with the mission and try to drop our bombs on that trade station. In which case I would advise uh, diving for the deck to get speed and further distance. Uh, sir, yeah. sir. Yes, 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 yes. Do you have sight on Gerald? Uh, I do not. I think he just turned around. Yes, excellent. He finally does something worthwhile and uh, sacrifices himself for the good. Wait, are those planes coming for me? Yeah, yes, they are, sir. Gerald, you bastard. Well, it's time to make a decision, Mr. Potlocket. I don't see the third one. If you continue, I should be able to slot in perfectly behind these Huns and gun them down before they knew what hit them. They knew what hit them. One... I'm not sure what he's doing, sir. I only see two jellies at the moment. Yes. Let's continue on with the mission. I see a dogfight behind us, sir. In the uh, lonely shell. I think it's more than just Gerald over there. Capital, capital, let them sort itself out. Are you uh, near me by any chance? Uh, a bit... On your right side, a bit out. And I think I have one of the chaps going for me. I have lost sight of him. I have something beneath me. Yes, uh, behind you and beneath you, that's me. Oh, Roger that. I do believe they turn back, sir. Excellent. Gerald has fooled them with his life. That was such did you nature. just shoot a flare, sir? Yeah, I did, sir. Oh. What are you doing all the way over there, sir? I am uh, looking for the target. Then where am I? Uh, you are uh, you are to the south of the target, by quite a margin. About a kilometer. To the southeast of the target. Yes, if you maintain that direction, we will come towards the target. 
and link up with me for the whole day. Hmm. Are you sure, sir? Yes, rather. rather. Now there you are. Yes. No, turn to your right, turn to your right. I shall catch up with you. Okay, turn then. To an, uh, easterly heading. Where's the compassing at this? Uh, right behind the stick. Proper place. So that you are not distracted by it while attempting to fly. I do see the target, sir. Ah, do you indeed? I do indeed. Not the train, sir, but... Do you see that forest with the uh, aerodrome right in front of it? 11 o'clock, sir. I do see a town with an aerodrome in right in the middle of it. I don't really yes. see a forest. Right. Well, there's a big forest right next to it. Oh, wait, there's another aerodrome and another city. That direction, sir. Oh, it's right in front of you, sir. Yes, rather... Uh, on the, oh, hang on. Looks like something was coming up behind you. But never mind. Yeah, that's good. Sir. Yeah. Bah! Are you uh, still cruising for the target? Uh, yes, I'm... I'm thinking about approaching it from the east. Several aerodromes, but not really any. It's right on my left, sir. More or less below us. Alright, I think I see the train station. The interesting thing is, I don't really see a forest. Oh, well. It must be my eyes, Mr. Potlocket. I'm an old man, even though it may surprise you. A big bundle of wood, sir. I'm sure you're right, I'm sure you're right. Well, now they see us. Ooh, that! Okay, I see it now. Never mind. That thing right at, right at your 12 o'clock. No, on my 9 o'clock, sir. Are you for the train station is not the thing to our 12 o'clock by the bridge? Yes, that's a difference. Right. Yes, I'm post sure, sir. Very well, then. I suppose we have, there's nothing more to it than to turn for the target. Right, dropping altitude and turning, sir. Understood. Not to your right. Passing under you. Idling the throttle. Right. Can't say that's much of a train station, though. Yeah, Intel seems to have gotten it all wrong as usual. No, the Jerry's do seem slightly wanted, though. There's a lot of flak in the area now, sir. Quite right, Mr. Potlocket. But there's nothing to it. I shall go charge in ahead and draw fire. And dazzle them with a couple of flares. Splendid, sir, splendid. Here comes the flak. 
close one, yes? Nice hit, sir. Nice hit. You coming in? I am just gonna lead off a bit more speed here. Oh, most of it's burning, sir. Yes, well, not all of it. But if you'd like, you can uh, drop some bombs on the, the airfield instead. Would you prefer that? Mm, yeah. No, no, no. I, I got this. Drop, drop, drop. Perfect hit. Excellent job, Mr. Potlockers. That is one destroyed airfield. No. Oh. That's machine gun fire. Lot of machine gun fire. Ha! Have you got bombs left, sir? Um. Hmm. Pat. I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, my, my engine seems to have rather given out a bit. Mr. Potlocket. I wonder if perhaps. Uh, fuel is an object. Let's see if I can get her running. She seems to be doing okay again. A bit jumpy in the RPMs. Yes. Maybe I, over I might have overcooled her a bit in the dive. And closing the rads. Yes, yes, yes. Very cold. Closing the rads. Speeding for home. Heading directly west. And watching that train station burn behind us. Might I just say, Mr. Pot, look at that, ready to go. Oh, there you are. Are you alright? I am, I am. You seem to be leaking a bit of... everything. No, that's... oh. Bummer. Oh, are you, uh, how's your temps looking? Rather cool, sir. Understood. Close the rats, get some extra speed. I think we can make it, uh, back over no man's land. We provisioned accordingly. I do hope Gerald has... has sorted out that... Yes. German problem. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Well, I don't care so much about Gerald, but... I'd rather not face those albatrosses. Well... We don't need care, we're not carrying bombs this time. That is indeed true, sir, but I'm currently leaking coolant. That is true. Get the coolant? A water, sir. Oh, yes, of course. I do believe the water has run out, sir. Uh, no, I don't think so. You're still leaking something. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have out of something. We have two planes coming in on our uh, five o'clock. Quite distant yet, but you do have the flak batteries directly on your left. So please be very cautious, Mr. Bottlebucket. I have a bit of a fuel issue, I think. Indeed. My fuel is still reading about 60 gallons, but I am taking flak. Fire off a few dazzling flares again. This way, you see, the Jerry's don't know what to shoot at. Where'd you go, Mr. Potlocket? 
I'm uh, falling rapidly, sir. Good heavens, really. What about? Oh, I see your flare. Dropping altitude, are you? I am, sir. She's not much of a glider, this one. Dude, eh. All right then. Understood. Right. Let's see what is the terrain like. Uphill. Hmm. I don't quite fancy that. Um, it looks much better over here. Right. I'm coming around. You just stay there, Mr. Potlocket. Don't you worry. I'm not leaving you behind for Jerry to fondle. Yes, yes, that is a very good approach, sir. You know, there is uh, a bunch of planes right above us. Probably our escort, I'd say. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I can't quite see you. Oh, there you are. All right, then. One second, Mr. Potlocket. I'm coming over there. Don't want you walking all that far with your injured leg. All right. Just one second. All right then, I'm in. Um, could you put a flare, flare in her? Huh? Uh, way ahead of you, Mr. Potlocket. Another few for good measure. Oh, that one bounced. Quite a lot, sir. Yep, that should do it. Indeed. Now. Now, I would recommend not taking off in that direction, but rather oh. to your left. Yes. The thing is, it's rather bumpy, by the way. Yes. Let's see if we can do this. Just be patient. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you lost an aileron, but that's fine. You're rather heavy, Mr. Potlocket. Sorry, sir. Get off the crumpet. See if we can find that airfield there. It's all behind you, sir. Not not airfield, the no man's land. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Well, th there's one airfield right on your one o'clock low, sir. But that's probably not it. Thank God for your excellent eyesight, Mr. Potlogger. I see a factory on my eleven o'clock, and uh, yes, there's uh, an aerodrome over there. Let's see, aerodrome with that city. Rather hard to read the map sometimes. I think we should be heading north, actually. No, you're actually right on top of it, sir. Really? It's, yeah, it's the airfield in front of you, sir. Oh, yes, because there's the river over there, so... Well, then. Yeah, <laughs> do you say, uh... Dive straight down. That's a bad idea, sir. We have the airfield right in front of us, then. 
We do, sir. We do. Capital, let's see if we can put this down for the, what is it, the third, fourth time today. Indeed, sir. Just you hold on to your garters, Mr. Potlocket. Hmm. There are some things in front of the hangars. I'm not sure if it's boxes or other planes, sir. Or the remains of our escort. Maybe they're just wheeling them out now. Uh, can you tell me from back there, do you see the windsock? Which way is it blowing? No. It's not blowing at all, sir. Excellent. That's just what I'd like to hear. Close to radiators. What I can see, that is. No, it seems to be quite limp. Fantastic. Right, so we're dropping out the truly air. Bit unstable, I dare say. If you try, could you try leaning over to the left? Uh, yes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no. Easy, easy there, Mr. Pocket. That's quite all right. Quite all right. Uh, so it's a bit hard to balance here on the tail. Yes. Yes, I can understand that. Uh huh. And and and, and now to your right. Oh, John. Oh. 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 oh, careful there, careful there, sir. All right, it's all right, it's all right. I have it, I have it, I think. Now remember, she stalls quite easily, that, this one. It's heavy. All right. And there's a bit of a hill just in front of the aerodrome. Understood, understood. So I would say don't touch down until you on the darker path. Path. I see. Patch. So. Oh, this is tricky. No, you're all fine now, sir. You're all fine. You can put her down. It's straight and plain. Coming down a bit hard, maybe. Oh, I'm right. Oh, excellent. Right on the plowed feet. Charm. Charm, sir. Excellent fly. And there we go. Oh. Oh. Yes. Well, Mr. Pop Rocket. I don't know about you, but I could go for a stiff drink. Tell Indeed. you Tell you what. You meet me behind the officer's mess in about five minutes, and I shall bring you out something from Gerald's special cabinet. I think it's... I like it, sir. Yes. All right. Careful on your way out. It's, uh... I don't want to abuse the wing any more than it has already been through. All right. I'll uh, see you there in about five, then. Ed, uh, Mr. Potlocket? Yes, sir. Very good job today. Very good job. Perfect.